Welcome, everybody. We're going to get started here in just another minute or two in case uh, we got some folks filing in. All right, it's a couple minutes after, so why don't we go ahead and get started. If for some reason you can't hear me, please pop something into the Q&A or raise your hand and I'll uh, make sure that my audio device is working. So this webinar is Why Texting for Business. I am your presenter, Matt Hostecki. I am a regional sales manager for Flex IP Solutions. My contact information is below. Uh, you can always dial me direct at 440-824-2601 and then mhostecki at flexipsolutions.com if you have any questions or concerns after this webinar. So what we're going to cover today, I do have a lot of slides, but we're going to work through things rather quickly. It should take roughly 20 to 25 minutes to present and then a few minutes for Q&A. But we're going to cover some texting statistics that uh, should be pretty eye-opening for everyone. Then we're going to cover some use cases. Uh, also should be kind of eye-opening. There's uh, two general use cases that most folks are familiar with, which is marketing and then appointment reminders for texting. But there's a whole lot of other use cases out there that uh, I think can help businesses. And we're going to cover some of those. And then we're going to introduce you to Flex Text, uh, what our features are, what are some of the pricing plans out there, um, you know, what our demo options are. And then we're going to cover questions and answers. Uh, you know, any questions you may have. So why don't we go ahead and get started? So roughly 4 billion people in the world own a smartphone. And then 67 million of Americans redeem coupons via mobile phones. Now, the statistics that I really think pop here and that I love kind of telling folks about are the 98% open rate that SMS or text messaging has compared to email. 85% of people polled want to receive offers via SMS. I mean, that's an astounding number right there. 85% of people. We're not talking about half or two thirds. We're talking almost everyone wants to receive offers via SMS because it's convenient. And then 45% of text messages actually receive a response. And about 90 seconds or so, under two minutes, is the average time it takes for a person to respond to a text and read to a text. So one of the things that some of this data and statistics kind of tell us, let's put it in perspective. If you're used to email marketing, if you go and talk to your marketing person or company and they said, you know, what's the average open rate for uh, an email campaign of a, you know, a thousand contacts or something like that. And they're like, well, you know, if, you know, somewhere between 10 or 15 actually, you know, opened it, that would be, that would be amazing. That'd be great. Well, what about a response? Well, if three to 5% of those out of a thousand respond, you know, they're popping champagne. It's, it's an incredible number for them. Then you look at the statistics that I just shared with text messaging it doesn't even compare. They're not even the same universe. So there's definitely um, a lot of power to targeting 
uh, your customers direct on their cell phone using text message marketing and appointment reminders and some other things that we're going to cover here. So just under 50 million people chose to receive business SMSs in 2020. Uh, I'm sure COVID and the pandemic had something to do with that. And that number I'm sure is also growing. Tech signups for mobile customers grew by 53% in 2020. Once again, I'm sure the pandemic had something to do with that, but it's not going away. That number's only going to grow. I don't think folks are gonna go back to phone calls and emails. And the simple reason why is text messaging is very convenient and it's intrus unintrusive. It's just very easy for folks when they see their phone, they can see the text message. They don't have to necessarily pick up a phone call. Uh, they can kind of do it at their leisure and their convenience. About two thirds of Americans check their phones 160 times per day. Uh, you know, the other third, I'm guessing part of that number does a little less, but I'm also guessing part of that number does it a lot more. Just something that we do first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And then buyers are more likely to open offer messages compared to other types of messages. Well, yeah, I mean, if you get a text message and it says 20% off this widget this week only, you're going to take a look at it. Maybe you don't need widgets, but at least you know about it. Maybe it you know, prompts you to buy that week. And then half the couponers in the United States use mobile phones. And once again, that number is gonna continue to rise. It's an easy, convenient way for folks to redeem coupons, to save money, to promote businesses, things like that. So let's get into some of the use cases. So, the number one use case that everybody's familiar with is marketing, right? You know, things like keywords, text Vegas for a trip, uh, chance to win a trip to Vegas, uh, receive 20% off your widgets this week. You know, those types of things for sales and marketing people are, are familiar with. And then I'm sure by now, almost everybody's received an appointment reminder. Now, the one thing I do wanna point out about appointment reminders is depending on your business, the system you're using, it could be very costly. We've heard, you know, like some, you know, CRMs or patient management systems might charge upwards of $200 to unlock the uh, texting feature in there. And even if it's not that costly, a lot of times this is a one-way communication. Your appointment's 10 a.m. on Monday morning. Well, that doesn't really do you a lot of good if they can't actually confirm that appointment. So you can send an appointment reminder out, but if they still ghost on their appointment, you're out that money. So what does an appointment, what does an hour of your business's time actually cost you? $100, $200, more than that? That's where having two-way communication and different options to actually confirm these appointments make a lot of sense. So above and beyond that, we have customer retention. So one example that I really like is, all right, you have an existing customer base. Let's say you sell materials, all right? Um, well, we'll just say landscaping materials, all right? Folks come to you, they buy their mulch, they buy their topsoil, things like that. Well, you know, some of these customers might be yearly customers and loyal customers, and some of these might be one-time customers or they shop around. Well, what if you can increase your customer retention rate? What if in March you sent out a text blast, you know, a text cast to everybody and said, hey, you know, free delivery on all your mulch or topsoil uh, with four yards or more, you know, what kind of uh, response do you think you would get out of that? You know, it's a very easy, quick, unintrusive way to kind of just, you know, get these customers' attention. Customer service is a great one. We're going to dive into that a little bit more um, because it's something that our system, Flextex, does very well. And one of the reasons why is the queuing uh, capabilities. But imagine solving customer challenges and problems with text messages. So somebody could literally be walking through the grocery store and start up, hey, I got your widget and it was broke. Okay, and then somebody can respond and when they have a chance, they can look at the text message again while they're waiting to check out. Yeah, you know, I, I turned everything on and it's just not working. Okay, well, we'll ship you a new one. You know, there's different ways that, you know, you can kind of handle customer service and it's just more convenient than sitting on hold for 15 to 20 minutes, wasting your life, hoping somebody finally gets to your call. Job postings are another great one. You know, those keywords, you can text jobs to this number and then it can automatically reply with a list of job openings. You can go even further than that and say, 
you know, text uh, sales to this number, and then it can have a job description and a link to submit a resume or something. There's a lot of different things you can do with that. Uh, and then alerts, uh, you know, you can send out if you're a municipality or a school, um, you know, hey, school's closed today. Um, you know, this road is closed. We had a, a water main line break, um, you know, garage sale days this weekend. Don't forget, you don't need a permit this weekend only, things like that, uh, among a whole host of other things that can, can be used. And then another really cool thing you can do, which ties into customer retention, surveys and polling. You know, if you have uh, if you're in the service industry and you have folks going out there, uh, you know, service technicians, um, you know, anything like that, you can send a survey or poll out there and find out how that technician did. Was the experience for that customer good? Maybe you're losing customers and you don't even know why. Well, send a survey or poll out. Maybe you'll find that you have a problem uh, technician or a problem delivery person out there that just has a bad attitude and it's rubbing customers the wrong way. Great way to get some feedback from these folks. So let's get into um, some very specific uh, industries and verticals here. I don't want to spend a, uh, too much time because we do have a, a decent amount of slides, but you know, retail stores. So you know, I kind of touched upon some of the automations that you can have. So for retail stores, you know, you can have text hours, and then it'll automatically reply with the hours. Um, it could be driving direction. You can have current promotions. You can, um, you know, we'll talk about this more as far as what the features are, but you can kind of segment or categorize your customers via tags in our system so that if somebody, let's just say, buys widget A, then you can tag them as widget A. If they buy widget B, you can tag them as widget B. If you sell shoes and coats and uh, suits, you know, tag them different ways. That way, if you're having a promotion on shoes or widget A this week, you can send it out to them. So uh, there's a lot of power in that. And a lot of folks have come back to us and said, we've seen a huge bump in sales by doing this. Travel agencies is a very interesting one because it can hit your customers and clients while they're traveling. But let's first start with the lead up to that. You can text a reminder, hey, this is the last week for you to submit your paperwork for a, a visa uh, or a passport. You know, that could be a really cool, useful tool. Oh, thanks. You know, I completely forgot about that. Well, if you want to make your trip in another two months or so, you're going to need to get that paperwork done. You know, but while they're on their, their trip and their vacation, you can communicate things like, hey, here's some really cool restaurants that we know are in the area. Why don't you check them out? Hey, we noticed that a tropical storm's coming up. Maybe you want to, you know, we can help you book a flight out of there, you know, a little bit early and then get you somewhere else for the remainder of your vacation. A lot of different cool things you can do, including surveys to get some feedback. You know, were those restaurants really good? Should we, you know, um, you know, give you different suggestions, things like that. Restaurants. So if you went to a restaurant during COVID, hopefully they didn't give you one of those disgusting buzzers. You know, the things that everybody carried around and then they buzz you when your table's ready. I went to a couple restaurants and I thought this was a great idea. They were using text messaging to alert customers when their table was ready. Everybody maintained social distancing, especially if you're in a strip mall or an outdoor mall. Folks can go, you know, shop and peruse while they wait on a table and then they just get a text message. Hey, your table's ready. So that's a great way to, you know, incorporate text messaging into your business. And then it can be twofold too. So the other thing you can do with this is blast out daily specials, weekly specials, monthly specials, things like that. Take a picture of that bodacious new burger you got with a ton of bacon on it. Send it out to everybody and say, hey, $9.99 this month, this is our bodacious burger for July. You know, a lot of cool things you can kind of do with this. Once again, you can always automate things, uh, you know, you can see in the slide here where it says pathways. Those are automations and you can, you know, do a lot of different things where you can answer commonly asked questions, hours, direction, parking, menu options, things like that. Professional services is a, a nice one too. So, you know, you're going to have some client appointments so you can, you know, confirm, uh, you know, and remind clients about their appointments. You can, much like the travel industry, hey, we're going to need this paperwork for our upcoming appointment. Don't forget to bring, you know, these documents, things like that. Um, you can send out reminders via TextCast to your entire, you know, contact list or customer base and say, hey, you know, remember this month is 
you know, so-and-so month, or remember um, to schedule your, your complimentary appointment with us in consultation. Um, you know, you can send invoices and links to their account, things like that. Home service and deliveries are just, this is where the, the system can really shine. You know, everybody's kind of wondering, all right, I know I have something scheduled today, but when is it going to show up? Who's going to show up? You know, so this is a great way to just kind of confirm appointments. That way it just kind of takes the guesswork out of it. Hey, your appointment's coming between eight and 10 today. Uh, your technician or your del delivery person's name, Matt, here's a picture of them just so you know that it's actually them. It's a great thing this day and age, just it's peace of mind for your customers. And then once again, use the surveys to collect data and information. You know, were they professional? Were they on time? Did they treat your package the right way? Um, you know, things like that. Senior care, assisted living, this is a great one. You know, how do you communicate to the family members of these seniors, right? So you can do text casts and just say, hey, we're doing a, a you know, a community-wide picnic. All family members are invited this weekend only. You can do one-on-one -on -one messages. Hey, you know, here's some updates on your, your loved one, uh, you know, as far as what, you know, they're doing, you know, here's some of the activities that we've been t doing, you know, uh, here's some things that maybe they said or concerns that they had, things that we need to discuss, that, you know, between the senior care facility and the loved one. It's a great kind of way to get a hold of them without, you know, emails and phone calls and you're just kind of chasing everybody around. Construction's a kind of unique one that, you know, internet is still not necessarily, uh, you know, all out there on construction sites. So it's not, uh, you know, it's just not widely available, but your cell phone and a cellular signal typically are. So you can use things like, you know, the flex text to get a timestamp because every text is time time stamped to validate, you know, when they finish their job, you know, you can send pictures of the completed job, um, you know, collect surveys once again from customers, you know, there's, uh, you know, you can communicate with different vendors on the job or off site from the job. Hey, you know, plumber, are you gonna be here at 2 p.m. like you said you're gonna be? You know, different things like that. It just kind of helps keep people in the loop. Medical and healthcare, and you can kind of throw veterinarian practices in there as well. Um, obviously the appointments are a big one. That's uh, kind of like a no brainer, but maybe some basic stuff like patient refills. Um, you know, you can create workflows and automations and, and, you know, drive operational efficiency for some of the more commonly asked questions or, um, you know, business workflows that you have in your organization or medical practice. So, you know, uh, you can prioritize callbacks, confirm appointments, obviously. Um, you can even broadcast out, hey, you know, due to COVID, our, you know, rules and regulations have changed, you know, please, you know, only two people in the waiting room at a time, everybody needs to have a mask, so on and so forth. But this is a great way to kind of send things out. Maybe your office is closed because of, uh, you know, a snowstorm or something like that, but uh, wonderful way to kind of communicate to your entire, your patients. Municipalities, we kind of covered uh, earlier, but once again, hey, you got, you know, reminder, we have a festival, 4th of July, fireworks coming up, barbecue, uh, garage days, garage sale days, um, you know, hey, there's a street closure, water main break, things like that. Um, you can even kind of, you know, segment, uh, you know, the different departments using tags. So if you wanted to, um, you know, send things out to the parks and rec department, you know, to soccer, to baseball, to football, things like that. You can send out these alerts and these messages and reminders, things like that. Nonprofits are a great one because the barrier to entry for flex text is very, very low and the ROI is very, very high. So two of the easiest ones to, to kind of think of is, hey, you know, send a text cast out to your volunteers. Hey, we need three more volunteers this weekend for this uh, event that we're holding. Or send something out, hey, we're, you know, um, looking for an additional, you know, 15 volunteers this month on different shifts. Can anybody kind of help out? Can you, you know, recruit some friends, things like that. And then 
stunningly, 40, there's a, with a 45% engagement rate, funding, fundraising done via text message will get more responses than a phone call that often obviously interrupts family activity. So a quick text message, hey, we're looking to raise funds for you know XYZ nonprofit. Can you help us out? Here's a link. Feel free to donate. Once again, this is not, you know, it's very unintrusive. So it, it's at the convenience. Folks are, aren't going to feel like they're you know, pressured into doing something, they can take a look at it and decide on their own. Yeah, I feel like donating. Yeah, I can I can donate my time, I can donate money, things like that. We've seen a lot of ROI, uh, you know, from nonprofits using this system. Religious organizations, very similar to municipality or a nonprofit in that you can send out alerts, um, you know, if you have different segments or groups within the, the community or parishioners, you know, youth groups, committee members, uh, staff, things like that. Um, so it's just an easy way to get out some broadcast messages, reminders, you know, things like that, especially, you know, hey, you know, canned food drive this week for us. Um, don't forget to, to bring in a couple cans, uh, you know, for Sunday uh, worship services. Real estate and property management, I, I think this is one of the things that it really shines at, meaning, you know, if you're in that industry, you're used to a ton of phone calls. You know, tenants are, are calling you all the time. You got vendors or contractors you're working with, you're calling all the time. Well, what if your tenants could just text the number? Once again, you can set up, hey, what are our common requests? And then you can automate some of the responses to that. You can have an entire group within our system dedicated just to customer requests. You know, hey, my main line's broken. Hey, I don't have uh, electricity right now. Um, you know, my refrigerator broke. Now you can prioritize these requests. You know, obviously if somebody's water's leaking, that needs to be done today, right, right away. You know, if the refrigerator broken is broken, yeah, that's still a priority, but you know, it's not causing damage. They can function for a little while. We can get to that later in the day sort of thing. And then you can always update the entire community via a text cast. Hey, putting in a new pool starts July 1st. You know, here are the hours. You know, you can send out uh, alerts, um, appointment reminders, and then you can even remind folks about, you know, paying their rent on time. Human resources is an interesting one that we kind of covered as far as jobs is a use case, but think of it this way. Hey, send it out to the entire team or the entire company. Don't forget to sign up for your benefits this month or, or otherwise you'll lose them or get signed up for what you currently have. Um, send something out. Hey, remember company picnic, uh, July 4th weekend, such and such time. And then we discuss what it can do for the HR manager sending out jobs, but you can also kind of help manage the hiring process. Hey, Hey, recruit, you're on to the second interview. This is going to be a face-to-face. -face. Here are some things to remember. Please bring in your resume, typed, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a lot of things you can kind of do. And then just a reminder, use a keyword like jobs. Text jobs to this number. Here's a list of our open jobs. It can all be automated using our system. So that takes us right into Flex Text. So here are some of the features we kind of touched upon it. I just want to go through these really quickly for folks that might not know or be familiar with, you know, text messaging or some of the terminology. But a text cast, think of it as a broadcast message out to, you know, your entire list of con uh, contacts. It doesn't have to be the entire list because we can use things like tags. Tags can be, you know, strategically categorized for your context. Think of you know, maybe uh, an area, Northeast Ohio, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, or maybe it's Bride Product, Widget A, Widget B. Maybe it's what group they, uh, you know, it's a, a team member. Maybe it's a um, coach or something like that. But you can kind of sort your contacts out via these tags, however you currently do your contacts today. And then you can send that text cast out. You can do things like time text. So time texts are great ways to kind of set out your reminders. So you can set up all your appointments, you know, at the beginning of the week and just set them and forget them. And then the text will go out at a predefined time of your choosing. So that's a time text. Surveys, it's exactly what it sounds like. You can send a survey out to uh, certain, um, uh, you know, contacts and things like that. This can also be automated. So you can automatically drop folks into a survey. And then there is reporting on survey results. So that's kind of nice too. 
Pathways, uh, so this is one of the things that really FlexText shines in. Pathways are automations. Think of it as an IVR, interactive voice response. Now, if you're not familiar with this terminology, think of it as, you know, folks are usually familiar with calling their drugstore or the airline, right? And you have to put in your uh, flight code, you know, SJ211 or something like that. Uh, and then it's like, all right, your flight is on time, you know, or please give us more information. Well, instead of a voice response, it's a text response. So you can set up an entire menu of options that folks and, and automate an entire experience or business process that you typically use via phone. And once again, it's not via phone, so it's via text. It's very unintrusive, it's very efficient. Another feature of flex text, groups. Now, what is a group? A group is, think of it as a business unit within your business. So like human resources, sales, marketing, customer service, things like that. So you can set different groups within FlexText so that they handle certain functions just like they do in your business today. The way to think about a series is a drip campaign if you're familiar with them through marketing. So uh, most folks are familiar with email marketing and drip campaigns where you get an email and then you get another email a week later. Same thing with text. You can automate this so as a new customer comes on board, they automatically receive an uh, text as soon as they kind of sign up for something, right? Hey, receive 20% off your widgets today. Well, maybe in two days, you want to send them another text as a reminder. Don't forget about your 20% off of widgets. And then maybe in another three or four days, you send them uh, another reminder. Hey, last chance to send tw save 20% off your widgets this week. Something like that. Keywords, they trigger unique keyword actions when tagging or queuing. What does that mean? Like I said, I'm going to keep harping on the text jobs to receive uh, you know, information on our current job opening. So when somebody would text job to a specific number, it can automatically reply with a list of job openings or whatever you would like to have it automatically respond to. It doesn't have to be jobs. It can be any keyword that you would like. Queuing. So here's another really, you know, our flex text shines here with queuing and it's a differentiator for us. There's a lot of systems that, you know, texting systems out there that do marketing or they do some other stuff, they do some keywords, but the pathways and the automations and then the queuing are really two of our biggest uh, differentiators. Meaning, you know, if you're familiar with the contact center or call center, a call comes in. And even if you're not familiar with it, everybody's been, hey, your call will be answered in the order it has been received. Well, same thing with this, except it's via text. So the best way to describe this is the next one with live agent. So you can queue inbound texts to live agents, meaning employees that can handle these text message requests and then go back and forth. So it's great for things like customer service, for sales, you know, just that great customer interaction. And they don't have to sit there waiting on somebody to respond. You know, they can make a response, send it back to the queue, you know, answer another text message as it comes in. This is kind of like a lightweight lightweight call or contact center, but for text messaging. And then the only feature or function that is uh, an additional cost for us is API integration. So Zapier integration is completely free. We're on Zapier. We can get you the link uh, to get set up if you're using Zapier today. But if you'd like to use the API, that is the only additional um, feature that we charge for. Everything else is all you can eat. So where other folks charge you for additional keywords or automations or series or this or that, everything we have is just, you know, all you can eat. The only th exception is that API. And then reporting. So we do have some reporting available to you for usage, agents, and then like I said, for surveys and some other things. This is just a quick look at what the actual interface looks like. Um, and then we'll we'll go to uh, really what the power is, uh, you know, because this probably doesn't mean too much to folks. Um, pricing and plans. So there are two different types of plans. There's 10 DLC, 10 digit long code. Most folks are familiar familiar with short codes, five six, six digit numbers. You receive a text message from so on and so forth. So the other one is toll free. Um, toll free rates are a little bit higher. That's why the plans are a little bit different. But you can kind of see brown starts at fifty dollars a month. 
like I said, the, the barrier to entry is very, very small. Uh, it's not a big number, but you get three users, a thousand texts. Within the thousand texts, you get a hundred multimedia messages or picture messages. So it's not 1100 texts, it's a thousand texts. And within that, you can get a hundred uh, picture messages. And then, like I said, unlimited keyword surveys, automations, you know, everything we have to offer, it, it's not additional. So you can kind of see some of the other plans we have here. Um, just as a kind of general rule of thumb, you get 10% of each plan's text messages are multimedia messages. So you can see there's 300 for the silver package, there's 600 for the gold, so on and so forth. A lot of folks don't use uh, picture messaging, um, but we like to include some for those that do. And then here is the uh, toll-free plans. Packages are the same, costs are a little bit different. Like I said, the rates for toll-free are a little bit higher, so the, uh, hence the, the costs are a little bit up. There are three ways to get a demo or free trial. So I'm gonna start at the right. You can see it in action. Text demo to 833-779-7700. What this is gonna do is take you through surveys, series, um, time casts, um, different things like that. So just go ahead and try it. It's a great way to kind of learn about the system and get your, your you know, mind kind of working on how this might work for your organization. What I always suggest to everybody, especially if this is new, let's do a live demonstration. Let's take it for a little test drive. I'll show you, give you a tour of what the system has to offer. You know, let's start with one particular use case for your organization and then we'll work off, you know, work from there. And then if you like that and you think it's going to work for you, we'll give you a free trial. Two weeks, 500 texts for free. You know, just email tech sales at flexipsolutions.com. You can always call that 833-779-7700 number. Uh, you can always contact me direct as well. My number is 440-824-2601. And then my first initial last name, M. Hostacki at flexipsolutions.com. So that kind of brings us to our Q&A. Uh, right there at a half hour, so a little bit um, longer than expected, but let's see what kind of uh, questions and answers we have. Are there contracts? Great question. So there are no contracts. This is completely month to month. So unlike telecommunications where you typically sign two, three, five-year deal, uh, this is month to month. So once again, there's very little barrier to entry and very little obligation. Um, uh, not a whole lot of risk here. Are there setup fees? Not really. So there are setup fees if you want us to handle absolutely everything. Uh, $199 uh, is a one-time charge, uh, and we'll set up the system for you. Um, you know, we kind of say it, it takes about three hours, uh, or that's what that cost covers. So, you know, if you have a particular use case, you don't want to, you know, kind of learn it and do it yourself. Uh, we'll talk through it. We'll set the system up uh, as a one-time thing, kind of show you how to use it and then go from there. How do you import contacts? Great question. Two different ways. You can do it one at a time, which obviously we don't recommend unless you're just starting out. Uh, the other way to do it is via CSV file. Um, so things like appointment reminders can be uploaded via CSV. Contacts can be uploaded via CSV. Um, this is where the live demo really helps because there are things like custom fields that you can use. Uh, so if you wanted to send out an appointment reminder at a particular location, if you have multiple locations, the system can do that. You just need an additional field in there for locations. Um, you can do custom tags within contact uploads, things like that. And that looks like all of our questions. So once again, Matt Hostacki with Flex Text and Flex IP Solutions. I appreciate everybody's time today. Thank you for joining us. We'll do these uh, probably about once a month. Uh, we'll probably do the same one a couple times in a row and then branch off into some um, particular and dive a little deeper into some maybe industries or compliance. We haven't even talked about compliance, um, but please feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.